Prince Harry was all smiles today, especially when he left King Charles' coronation. And my family, there is a saying, fear the man, the person who lives with a smile on their faces. Because that person, he ain't never coming back. My family, and look at Prince Harry himself. Look at that smile as he got in the car. My family, I've had much talk from the carnival of so-called experts. Oh, look, Harry's alone. He's lonely. His family left without him. They say he went on one other direction. Or well, the family went the other one. It shows he's lonely. He wanted a hug, they have said. But when I look at this man, this is a man who is smiling. This is a man who is happy. Happy to leave Westminster Abbey right after the crowning ceremony had ended. And my family, perhaps that's what the press fear so much. Harry leaving while being happy with a smile on his face. Happy to get inside of the car as he left. My family, in my opinion, they would have wanted to see Harry angry the entire coronation service. I'm sure that that is what they wanted. But my family, they did not get the pleasure. Harry did not give them the pleasure of seeing that, seeing him sad, upset. Instead, Prince Harry smiled even as he left my family. And I've seen even Carnival or so-called Expertina Brown say that Harry's lonely. Harry wants a hug, she said. My family, that's what they said. Because they are trying to prop up the royal family. Even Carnival of so-called expert, sad little man, Dan Wooten, also published his own article calling Prince Harry's, you know, arrogant facade. Why? He calls Harry smiling throughout the service a facade. My family, that's what sad little man is saying. My family, because they can't stand it and they are so afraid. My family, they can't stand that Harry is happy and also they are afraid, fearful of what they saw. A man who is happy. A man who is happy. And that is what they fear so much. Because when a man is happy, like Harry is, the my family, he ain't never coming back to the raw fold like they want him to. My family, just clearly hear the nonsense that carnival or so-called expert Dan Wooten is saying, my family, that the isolated Prince Harry knows he's lost the most important role of his life. You know, my family, these people are trying to prop up the monarchy, the royal family. Hey, look, Harry, look what you lost. My family, instead of saying the truth, look at what Harry has gained. Prince Harry told us in his memoir about what life was like in the royal family. Of how my family, he had to depend on his father for money. My family, that was his life. He was bullied over renovations done on a cottage that did not even belong to him. That was what life was like. His wife, Megan, was bullied throughout her pregnancy by the UK media. That was what life was like in the royal family. 
coming back home to see your wife crying every day because of tabloid racism, because of abuse from members of the royal family, from Prince William himself. That was what life was like. And my family, on top of that, also, don't forget one thing, one very, very important thing. The royal family are more like a package deal. When you get them, when you are inside the royal family, when you are in the royal fold, you are expected to work with the tabloid media, the UK tabloids. My family, the royal family and the tabloids are a package deal. Prince Harry has said he can't stand the UK media. As a matter of fact, he is suing them for alleged phone hacking. Serious criminal offenses, which if proven in court, it will mean the end of some UK tabloids. My family. And my family, you know, when you say, hey, look, Harry, this is what you lost. This role of being in the royal family. My family, it comes with tabloids. Now my family, Prince Harry can't stand. Prince Harry has expressed his disdain for UK tabloid media. Prince Harry described Dan Wooten as a sad little man in his memoir spare. And my family indeed he is. He calls Harry's happiness Harry smiling an arrogant facade because they wanted him to come there and be angry, be pissed off, be sad, cry even for not being a part of the coronation. But because that ain't happening, because Harry has gone back home to California, they're like, you know, Harry's lonely. He wanted a hug. You know, Prince Harry was just hiding. He was just hiding. His smile was an arrogant facade, says Dan Wooten, because they can't accept that Harry is free of them. They can't accept it, that Harry is a happy man, without them, far away from them. My family, life in the royal family and Tail William physically assaulting Harry. While telling Harry, demanding Harry turns on his wife, puts his wife in her place. As Harry said in his memoir spare of how William thought somehow that Harry would agree with him that Meghan is difficult, rude, abrasive, when Harry did not accept that. When Harry told William, you are parroting the press narrative. William got angry and physically assaulted Harry. That was what life was like. By saying that Harry is missing something, my family. You mean he's missing being physically assaulted by William. By saying Harry is missing something, you mean... He is missing a father who won't lift a finger to protect his own son. To ensure his son has security. My family, Charles won't even do that. He's missing a father who evicted him from his only home in the UK. You know, now, what do the tabloid media have now? Prince Harry has been evicted from from a cottage now what do they have what will they say the moment a member of the royal family has a, an event let's say my family like a a service or something you know member of the royal family make up anything what happens when the royal family have an event and they have the tablets asking is harry coming is harry coming 
is Harry coming? Where is he going to stay if and when he comes? You know, I don't think the tabloids have thought that much forward, my family. And perhaps that's why they're upset. Harry left Westminster Abbey with a smile on his face that Dan Wooten calls an arrogant facade. He's kidding. He has to be missing us. He misses being a part of this, you know, royal family. You know, Prince Harry has said, yes, he'd love to have his father back. He'd love to have Prince William even back. Because he is willing to forgive them for what they have done, for their actions. Similarly, if they feel like they've made a mistake in any way, they also would like to be forgiven by them. Prince Harry said, have asked, where did we go wrong? Where? He has never gotten a response because Harry never did anything wrong. The only thing he did was marry a biracial black woman and bring her into an all-white institution. My family, that could never accept a biracial black woman inside the royal family. The fact is, Charles does not even have a picture, a photo with his biracial granddaughter. That tells you a lot. How can you say you are all about diversity when my family, Megan, did not even attend King Charles' coronation? How can you say you are all about diversity when the biracial members of the royal family have been kicked out of the royal family through bullying, abuse, insults, and racism? King Charles put his coronation on the same day as Archie's birthday. My family, I feel like Dan Wooten and the other carnival of so-called experts who are claiming that, oh look, Harry's lonely. You know, Harry would have wanted to play a part in this important occasion. Listen, you promote King Charles' coronation. Give it all the PR praises you want. But can you leave Harry out of your conversation? My family, you know what? I recall something. Back in the Commonwealth service, the last service that Harry and Meghan attended as senior members of the royal family before they left. Prince Harry was a bit upset. You know, you could see it in his face, really. He was upset, sad. Megan had a smile, a, a whole smile, you know? She was happy. She was leaving the royal family. Even in those photos shown in the Harry and Megan documentary, you can see Megan with her hands up, smiling. My family, it was her last day there after taking so much abuse and racism. Megan was free. Megan was free. My family, she was happy. She was happy. She was moving to a different country, a different place. Megan was happy. My family, and she showed it in that Commonwealth service with a smile on her face. Harry was a bit sad and upset, really. You could see that in his face as they were leaving the service. But now, things are different, my family. Now, he has left King Charles' coronation with a smile on his face, being happy. My family, he has left with a smile on his face, being happy. And that is what angers the media because they know what this means. My family, they know that Harry is done with them. 
And my family clearly, they just can't accept that. The Harry is moving on. My family, look at Prince Harry as he left. Look at him. Look at that smile. That is what the tabloids fear so much. That is what, you know, they're calling an arrogant facade. Oh, he would have loved to play a role in King Charles' coronation. That's what they're saying, my family. He's lonely. Look at that smile. Look at that smile as he was leaving. I think that is the biggest smile he gave my family. And that is what, you know, clearly has angered and set off the likes of the sad little man, Dan Wooten. That is what hurts him so much, my family, that Harry is happy. He calls Harry's happiness an arrogant facade because he would have loved to see him crying. Oh, I want to come back. I want to come back. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. And then Harry leaves like this. Then Harry leaves like this with a smile on his face as he, as he is getting on the car. My family, the thing is, they want Harry back. They want him back. The tabloids want him back. They really, really want him back. You know, I even believe that Charles wants him back. I even believe that, my family. But they want him back to destroy him, not because they miss him or they love him or they want him back. No, to destroy him. My family, if you don't see that by now, look at the history of what happens to all the spares in the royal family. That will give you an answer of what they intend on happening to Harry. My family, they want to destroy his marriage. That's what the tabloids want to do. No wonder they keep attacking his wife constantly with the hope that Meghan is fed up. She leaves Harry. Well, guess what? If that strategy has not worked all these years of abusing Meghan, it won't work now. It won't work now. It hasn't worked all these years and it won't work now. And it's high time they accept that they can't succeed in destroying Harry and Meghan. My family, even in GB News today, my family, I saw something, my family, that they were saying, my family, that, hey, look, they are predicting a rocky future for Harry and Meghan, they said. <laughs> That's what, because that is what they want. They can't allow the spare to succeed, although already he is succeeding. His memoir has done remarkably fantastic. Harry and Meghan documentary, fantastic. Everything that Harry and Meghan touches turns to gold. The media can't focus on, on William Charles. Dan Wooten has to write a negative article about Prince Harry. My family, on the day of King Charles' coronation. My family, because the other royals are just so boring. So boring, my family. They're way more interested in Harry and Meghan. You know? Clearly, that is what makes the money. My family, just kindly look at this, my family. Look at Prince Harry when he was there at Westminster Abbey speaking to Jack Brooksbank, my family. Jack Brooksbank, Eugenie's husband. My family, look at him, happy, smiling. And they say he was lonely. That's what they say, my family, because he left in a car when he was leaving alone. Well, his wife is in California, and that's where he's headed to. His family is in California. That is where he's headed to. That's where he's going to enjoy 
is St. Archie's birthday. My family, with people who love him. Eugenie has a husband. They have kids. My family. They have their own families. Beatrice is married to a husband. Harry has his own wife and kids where he is going back to. To America, to his wife and kids. My family, Harry is on a plane back home to California. And here you have the press being like, oh, Prince Harry was so, so sad. He was so, so lonely. Look at the guy, he's happy. Look at him. <laughs> my family, Prince Harry is just so, so happy. And that, my family, is what angers the media. That Harry was actually happy. And that now he is headed back home to his wife and kids where he belongs next to his wife and kids, my family. So my family, the only people who are displaying an arrogant facade are the likes of Dan Wooten, sad little man. We're so unhappy Miserable in his life that he wishes that others are miserable just like him, are unhappy just like him, are hateful just like him. But my family, Prince Harry and Meghan, have chosen love in their lives, they have chosen happiness in their lives. And my family, Prince Harry, Prince Harry. When he left, he was very, very happy. Harry was very, very happy when he was leaving that coronation service. And no one can tell you otherwise. And be scared of someone who lives with a smile on their faces. The tablets want people to believe Harry was sad. Harry was lonely. But my family, because they are the ones who are trying to mask up what they have seen themselves. Harry is a happy man. And he was happy that he was leaving. And no wonder they call it an arrogant facade, my family. They can't accept that Harry left with a smile on his face. Being happy. Being happy. Being happy. You know? And they're afraid because now what are they going to say to get Harry back in the UK? You know, right now they have a case, actually, a lawsuit to try and get Harry deported. That's how desperate they are. They can't get him willingly to come back to them. They have to try and force him back. My family, you know, that just came to me right now. Because right now, they'll be looking for events. Is Harry coming? Is Harry coming? Is Harry going to come? Is Harry going to come? And when he comes, so where is he going to stay? <laughs> My family, the carnival of so-called experts will soon wake up to find out and realize that they have shot themselves on the foot. With this hate campaign, hounding of Prince Harry, my family. That's what they'll soon come to learn. And also, this plot of trying to get Harry deported, it also will not work. My family, it also will not work. Harry left with a smile on his face. Fear the person who leaves with a smile on their faces because that person ain't never coming back to you. Ain't never coming back to that role fold. Do your PR for the royal family. Clap for them. Say whatever you want as carnival of so-called experts. Do PR for them. But leave Harry out of your mouths. 
you know, my family. The main interest truly is Prince Harry. Prince Harry is the man of every single moment. He is what everyone wants to speak of, wants to talk about. My family. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, my family. A person who lives angry, upset, or sad will come back. A man who lives with a smile as huge as Harry's, my family, as he left Westminster Abbey. That person ain't never coming back. That person ain't never coming back. A person who lives with a smile on their faces ain't never coming back to the role fold, my family. And they won't succeed in destroying Harry and Meghan's marriage. For me, I predict a future for Harry and Meghan full of prosperity. My family, billionaire status for Harry and Meghan. And that will piss off the tabloids tenfold, my family. And will send a message to the tabloid media. If you attack the next pair, which my family is William's child, Lewis, he is their next target. Lewis can know that, hey, look, you don't have to put up with abuse. You can live, succeed like Uncle Harry and make a ton of money. My family. And someone on Twitter say this, my family. We need to keep posting photos of Harry smiling and being warmly welcomed so the tabloids can't control the narrative. With pictures of Prince Harry happy, my family. You know? With pictures of Prince Harry happy. My family. And yes, Harry is very, very happy. So people have noticed really what the tablets are trying to do. What they're trying to portray. The angle that they're trying to go with. Harry's unhappy. You know, Harry was not welcomed warmly. You know, Harry is alone. Well, my family, those narratives are just ain't gonna work. The world has seen, my family, what exactly truly, truly happened. And Harry left with a smile on his face and was happy throughout. And guess what? Now he's gone back home to California to be with his wife, Megan and son Archie. With my family, by the way, I want to sing him a happy birthday once again happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear baby archie happy birthday to you how old are you now for how old are you now for happy birthday dear baby archie Happy birthday to you. My family. And now Archie has one reason to smile. Because daddy is going back home to California. To be with him and enjoy the rest of the day. With baby Archie. To be with his son Archie on his birthday. My family. And my family, I'm very, very happy about that 100% my family. Harry is a good man, a good father to Archie. And he shows us that every single day with his actions of protecting his wife and kids, my family. I'm so proud of the man that Harry has truly become. Of the man that he truly is. A man with a very, very good, amazing, amazing, you know, heart truly he is a good man with a very good heart and harry is truly the king of hearts that's just who harry truly truly is my family and guess what tabloids <laughs> i wonder what event we will now make up right now to demand that harry shows up 
I wonder what event you make up now. Because guess what? Now that Harry has been evicted from from a cottage, there ain't no reason to come and show up except for his court cases, my family. Against UK tablets. It will be interesting to see where, you know, Prince Harry will be staying when he comes back for his court cases, my family. For his court cases against UK tablet media. My family. With his court case versus Daily Mirror, where he is set to take on Piers Morgan beginning next week, my family. His case begins next week, my family. And Harry has expressed his intention of coming in person to testify. The only thing that Harry is going to do, my family, is go after those who have caused him harm, caused Megan harm, caused his family harm. Those who are actively, every single day, spreading hateful rhetoric targeted at Harry and Megan, my family. And I hope he brings those tablets down once and for all. My family. Now, my family, tell me your thoughts about what is happening right now, kindly. I like to please hear your opinion, my family. Stay tuned on this video, my family. May God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Bedana, and Doria, Raglan, and all of you members of the squad at home. Stay tuned on this video. Love you, us and forever. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Bedana, and Doria, Raglan, and happy birthday to baby Archie. And no weapon formed against Harry, Megan, Archie, Libedana, and Doria shall ever prosper. Hate never wins, only love wins. And stay tuned to our next video. Harry is a happy man, and the tablets can't stand it. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. A happiness you can only get when you leave that toxic place called the monarchy. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. And Harry is going back home to California. And I'm happy about that. My family, for Archie, daddy is coming home. Daddy is coming home. Megan, your husband is coming home. Love you, family, always and forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.